Good day, students. My name is Ajayi Akitunle Oluwatosin, your physics teacher for today. The topic for today is frictional force, behavioral objectives. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to analyze the concept frictional force with emphasis on one definition of frictional force, two stating factor that affect frictional force. Three, least method of reducing friction. Four, solve simple calculations on coefficient of friction and limiting frictional force content. What is frictional force? Frictional force refers to the force generated by two surfaces that contact and slide against each other. Friction is the force that resists motion when the surface of one object comes in contact with the surface of another. The friction force is the force exacted by a surface as an object moves across it or makes a, an effort to move across it. The friction force often opposes the motion of an object. Example. If a body slides across the surface of a dex, then the dex exerts a friction force in the opposite direction of its motion. Friction results from the two surfaces being pressed together closely, causing intermolecular attractive force forces between molecules of different substances. Also, friction depends upon the nature of the two surfaces and upon the degree to which they are pressed together. These forces are mainly affected by the surface texture and the quantity of force requiring them together. The angle and position of the object affect the volume of the frictional force types of frictional force. Friction can be grouped or classified into static, static friction or limiting friction to dynamic or sliding friction. Let's look at static friction or limiting friction. This involves all cases in which frictional force is sufficient to prevent relative motion between two surfaces. For example, if a light carton is pushed without the carton moving, we say the carton is static. The force of static friction between the carton surface and the floor is equal and opposite to the horizontal force applied. So there is no movement, dynamic or sliding friction. This comes into play when a body just starts moving along a surface when the external applied force is sufficient to move a body along a surface. In pushing the carton in the above, in the one we just explained, it is usually sliding. At this point, the applied force becomes greater than the force that is opposing the motion of the body factor that affect friction. A number of factors affect frictional condition at the interface between two surfaces in relative motion. These factors are 1. Temperature. The, but both, amb both ambient and the operational temperature can affect friction. For example, temperature is a critical element in weather and anti-wear or extreme pressure addictive will be effective in certain application. Operational load. Friction varies directly with the load. So, a load existing the design capacity will drastically increase the frictional coefficient. Relative speed. Increasing the speed beyond which is safe, specific, spec, specified will dramatically increase friction. Nature of the relative motion between the surface. Sliding motion versus rolling motion can affect the coefficient of friction. 
lubricant characteristics. These characteristics are base are oil based. The viscosity of the of the base oil and the addictive combined with the base oil for the particular formulation. So the challenge is to reduce the coefficient of friction as much as possible by either eliminating the factor that may have an adverse effect on the surface in relative motion or at the very last controlling those factors. Thank you. I will come back after the break. Okay, you are welcome back. We are looking at frictional force. So, let's look at the laws of friction. One, when a body is moving, the friction is directly proportional to the normal force. And the frictional force direction is perpendicular to the normal force. Two, friction doesn't depend on the area of contact as long as there is an area of contact. Three, the coefficient of static friction is slightly higher than the value of coefficient of kinetic friction. Four, kinetic friction is independent of the velocity of the body. Five, friction depends on the type of the surface in contact. Advantages of frictional force. One, it exists between the brakes and the tires of the vehicle. Our life really depends on this. Two, it exists between the tire and the road surface. This prevents skidding of tires and reduces accidents. Three, it prevents falling when we slip off an ice pavement. Four, it helps in grinding processes, using grinding stone to grind paper. Five, it is useful in shaping or shaping, shaping metals. Six, it exists between knots and bolts. This helps in holding two things together. Disadvantages of frictional forces. Force. One, it reduces energy. Two, it reduces the speed of objects on relative motion. Three, it causes wear and tears of rubbing parts. Four, it reduces efficiency of the machines. Five, it generates unnecessary heat. Six, it increases cost of maintenance. Then, friction is desirable is desirable force in our daily activities as its advantage overweigh its disadvantage. Ways of reducing friction. There are several ways to reduce friction. One, replace sliding friction with rolling element friction such as with the use of rolling element bearing. So we say that we are, we are talking about ball bearing. Two, improve overall lubrication either by changing viscosity, using differing or improved additive, or through the use of different lubricants themselves. So what we are saying is use the use of lubrication, your, your grease, your oil. Three, streamlining is the process of designing a machine so as to avoid resistance from air and water molecule while moving. So we can use streamlining also. Four, friction between two surfaces can be reduced by polishing the surfaces. So friction can be reduced as a result of using ball bearing, improved lubrication, three, streamlining, then four, with uh, friction as a result of polishing the surface. Now we want to look at calculating the force of friction. How do we calculate the force of friction? The maximum amount of friction force that a surface can apply upon an object can be easily calculated with the use of a given formula, which we say that F is equal to mu times R, meaning F, that is the force, frictional force, is equal to mu, that is the coefficient of friction, than times the normal force. So we are saying that friction is goes to F is goes to coefficient of friction times the normal force. 
So, to help you calculate the fictional force, yeah, we have provided meth methodology step to follow while calculating the force of friction. The normal force is supported force exerted on an object that is in contact with another stable object. The normal force can be simply described in most cases by the following formula. So we say that the normal force, which is R, can be written again as R is equals to M times G. That's mass times acceleration due to gravity. Mass times acceleration due to gravity. That's the formula for the normal force. In this formula, M describes the mass of the object and G stands for acceleration due to gravity, like I've said. In case of an inclined surface, the strength of the normal surface is reduced the more the surface is inclined. Hence, the formula becomes R is equals to mg cos theta. That means, you know, when we are talking about an inclined surface, that means it's forming an angle. That means the object is drawn in up, up through an inclined plane. So, our normal force our normal force is goes to mass times acceleration times the angle that's cos theta so theta represents the angle the surface is inclined to the surface is inclined to so i'll come back after the break thank you okay you are welcome back we are we will look at some work activity to engage ourselves in calculation now let's look at this work example one a wooden block of mass 1.6 kilogram rests on a rough horizontal surface if the limiting frictional force between the block and the surface is 8 newton calculate the coefficient of friction giving g as 10 meter per second squared let me repeat myself a wooden block of mass 1.6 kilogram rests on an horizontal surface if the limiting frictional force between the block and the surface is 8 newton calculate the coefficient of friction taking g as 10 meter per second squared if you look at the question very well you see that we are giving mass as 1.6 kilogram and we are giving the frictional force as 8 newton and we both know from the previous stages that F, that is the frictional force, is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force. That means F is equal to mu times the normal force. And we are asked to look for the coefficient of friction. So we have to make mu the subject of formula. So we say that mu is equal to F divided by R, that is the normal reaction normal force and we said that the normal force which is r is can also be written as mg so mu now becomes mu is equal to frictional force divided by mg so we now say that mu is equal to 8 divided by 1.6 times 10 so we now have 8 is equal to divided by 16 so mu our coefficient of friction is equal to 1 all over 2 which is half then is equal to 0 0.5 and mu does not have a coefficient so the answer is mu is equal to 0 .0 0.5 now let's look at another example 2 example 2 a heavy box of a heavy box of mass 18 kilogram is placed on a horizontal surface if the coefficient of dynamic friction between the box and the horizontal surface is, is 0 0.25, calculate the force of dynamic friction. Let me repeat myself. A heavy box of mass, 18 kg, is placed, in, placed on a horizontal surface. If the coefficient of dynamic friction between the box and the horizontal surface is 0 0.25 calculate the, the force of dynamic friction taking g as 10 meter per second squared so as we know f is equal to coefficient of friction times the normal force and we recall that r is equal to mg 
So therefore, the um, frictional force is equal to mu times mg. So, and you know, from the question, we are giving mass as 18. We are giving our mu as 0 0.25. And we know that our acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second. So, F is equal to 0 0.25 times 18 times 10, which will give us 45 Newton. So, our uh, dynamic uh, force is 45 Newton. 45 Newton. So, our uh, dynamic force of friction is 45 Newton. Let's look at another one again, making number three. Find the minimum force applied needed to move a weight of 50 Newton along a rough horizontal plane when the coefficient of friction is 0 0.2 find the minimum force applied needed to move a weight of 50 newton along a rough horizontal plane when the coefficient of friction is 0 0.25 f is equal to mu times r and we know that r is 50 newton and mu is 0 0.25 so f is equal to 0 0.25 times 50 which will give us 12.5 Newton. So our F is 12.5 Newton. So we have assignment below that you can do on your own. The first assignment says that find the least force required to move a weight of 45 Newton along a rough horizontal plane. If the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3, find the least force required to move a weight of 45 Newton along a rough horizontal plane. If the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3, the second one says that a weight of 30 Newton is resting on a rough floor, which can just move by force of 6 Newton acting horizontally. Find the coefficient of friction. Find the coefficient of friction. Thank you. We meet later.